Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this beautiful, sunshiny day. No clouds, just blue skies and just a little bit of white clouds up there. It is beautiful. But y'all know all that rain we had, it is dry as it can be now. It's not. I have to water my flowers and it is so dry. It doesn't take long for the ground to dry out after a rain. But it's dry now. It is very dry. But anyway, here's my flowers, y'all. I wish y'all could smell these gardenias. They are in my backyard, and they smell so good. They are the most fragrant-smelling flowers. Came out here to, to show y'all my gardenia bush. It is huge. It's It's been here so long, and it's so pretty and it smells so good i'm on close up on some of the blooms and let y'all see how pretty they are there's they are so pretty and it's full of blooms i wish y'all could smell these things how they smell they are so Smelling so good. Y'all, I wanted to let y'all see my butterfly bush. It is huge, too. It is way to the top of the house. This is the what I had in my a little arrangement of butterflies right there. They, they are, and this is my butterfly blossoms uh, off my little butterfly bush over there. The butterflies love it every summer the butterflies just swarm to that bush they love the flowers or whatever that is on it here's here's y'all's coffee i'm i'm gonna let y'all have this cup this time i don't want to pour it out but anyway y'all come on up closer y'all don't want to miss anything this is mine this is my little and I heated it up and it is hot as fire. It is, ain't that, it's, it's, that's a beautiful cup. So I, I don't know where to sip it or not because it's about boiling while I go. I heated it up because it, I wanted it to stay warm longer out here so It's pretty warm. I'm going to put these little covers on it. Someone asked me. I think someone told me they come from uh, Amazon. I, I don't know. I've, I've not seen any on. I mean, I, I don't even know about Amazon. I don't. Uh, Cody does my Amazon stuff. But I don't know nothing about it. But anyway, that those little covers that so people have asked where they came from and and, uh, and that's what someone told me they were from they were from Amazon so I'm out here I didn't get out here as early as I planned but you know how that is oh, it just takes time to do everything and time doesn't slow down but I am slowing down <laughs> I, I'm telling you I can't get around to all the things I need to do uh, it's just hard for me to get everything together in a short time. <laughs> it usually takes me a while because I got certain little things I do and I, I want it done. And so that's, that's why I guess I'm slower than I need to be probably. But 
I think your age slows you down some. Anyway, I'm I, I'm going to let y'all know. <laughs> Cody is taking a job in Alaska. Y'all. <laughs> I want him to do what he wants to do. And and it's not a long-term job. It's a seasonal job. It's it's uh it's a salmon processing plant that I guess the place where the back a uh, place is where the, he's going to work. He's anxious about it, and I want him to do whatever he feels comfortable with doing. He's been here, like, all his life, not living with me all his life, but he's been here at my house on and off, you know, visiting and stuff. And when, when my husband passed away, he decided he needed to come take care of me. <laughs> so he came uh, about three years ago. And you know, the job situation in our town is very slow. Nobody's hiring. With all this other stuff going on, it's hard to get a job and he he met some people on uh, the internet that has been over there and done that job. And he says it pays pretty good. And it's, it's, it's hard work, but he don't mind hard work if he gets paid for it. <laughs> and he has had jobs that didn't he didn't get paid for. But anyway, he's going to be going over there, and I know I'm going to miss him. <laughs> and I'm sure he's going to miss Grandma, because Grandma cooks him biscuit, cheese grits, fish, cornbread. Pizza. I, I'm gonna make a pizza. I'm gonna show y'all how I make a pizza. My, the way I make it, homemade. <laughs> For long. Anyway, he says he's gonna he's gonna do it. It's a three month or six month stay. And. I reckon I can live that long by myself. Y'all, I, I lose things. I can't find them. Cody, I lost my little uh, vase, my little purple vase that I brought out here. This is not the one I wanted. It was not, but it, it's okay. But I wanted my other one. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what I've done with it. But I'll tell you, Cody can find things that I lose and I don't know how in the world he does it. But he gets in there. Where was you at last, Grandma? Where was it? Whatever. He will find whatever I lose. I guess whatever I lose while he's going to stay lost till he gets back. <laughs> but anyway, I'll survive and I'm not afraid to stay by myself. I'm not afraid at all. I got a big old bed. I got a pistol on my bed. And I've got a, uh, a rifle, a magnum, something other, whatever that thing is. It's not a big, long gun, but it shoots pretty good-sized bullets. And I, I don't think anyone will try to harm me anyway because I lock my doors and I go in there and 
And if anyone comes in my house while he's gone, <laughs> I just remember, I have two guns and I can shoot them. So I'm not saying I will shoot, but I can if I have to. So that being said, I got one more thing to say. Bird, you are trying to be loud. This is mine. Let me drink it. Or some, some more of it. Woo! It's still hot as fire. Oh, gracious. Anyway. I'm not believing this myself you know my church up there has been live streaming our church service just before this uh, virus thing happened and then we went outside and had same thing we do it outside uh, on the grounds people I stay in my car because they don't want old people to get around and get any kind of virus so I stay in my car I sit in the car and I can see and I can hear all the all of it but they're talking about us going back in the sanctuary next Sunday and being very spaced apart you know, and I, I'll wear my mask. I, I don't know about everybody else. I guess they will. I don't know. But anyway, our, our service has been shown on Facebook. You can go on Facebook and see the uh, church service on Facebook. Well, I think it was yesterday. Or the day before, I can't remember. Y'all, y'all know, it's hard to remember. It's hard to remember what even day it is. Because my days just run together. I have to get on my phone and see what day it is. and It's hard to keep up with all that stuff. Anyway, they put an announcement on Facebook that they are going to be on YouTube. I was shocked. I cannot believe my church is going on YouTube. My my preacher used to just talk about Facebook like I don't know what. He he thought it was the worst place in the world to be. <laughs> but I think he's found out that it's not too bad if you kind of choose who you correspond with and things, you know. I, I know there's a lot of stuff on there, but you, it's like a TV. You turn it to the channel you want to see. And that way you'll pick what you want to, how you want to view it and all. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> I am not believing our church is going on YouTube. But that's a good thing, you know, because we have an awesome church. We have an awesome preacher. Douglas Bridges is our pastor. And his wife is Linda Bridges. She plays the piano for our, when we're in the church. They don't move the piano out whenever we're uh, doing it outside. But we have some young people that are helping out out there doing some singing for us. Anyway, y'all look for, I don't know, it's Faith Christian Assembly. I don't know what the name of it will be. They haven't even decided all that yet, but I don't guess. But anyway, y'all look for them and subscribe if you would like to and, and hear our preacher. He's an awesome, down-to-earth preacher that he preaches the truth. I mean, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. 
he tells it the way it is, the way the Bible says it is, that's how he does. Thank the Lord we have a church that we can go worship and, and have a confidence in our pastor that he's doing uh, what he can the right way. All right, that's all of that. <laughs> I haven't even told y'all what I'm out here doing. Let me have another sip of coffee. I can't figure out which one of these cups is supposed to be mine. Good gracious. I didn't know it was going to be like this when you get old. <laughs> I just didn't really think about it. I don't guess. Because, you know, my grandmother looked old when she was young. <laughs> to me, I... And she acted old. You know, she she just sort of sat around and, uh, I don't know. I, I, she never looked young to me. But anyway, when you get old, things change. And you have to change a little bit with it. But you don't have to give in completely. You can still do what you like, enjoy what you like, uh, get out there with the kids and enjoy uh, we, we have a baseball field back there and I went they called me and told me they were back there playing baseball and riding four wheelers and all kind of stuff I went back there they were they wanted me to hit a ball see if I could hit one I hit that ball a bunch of times I hit that thing and it went way out there. <laughs> they were so surprised. <laughs> but I stay busy and I, I don't lay around and, and get my muscles go away. I don't want to get where I can't do anything. I'm going to keep going and doing what I can do while, I, while I'm able and I'm, nothing is wrong that I can cannot. Sometimes when my foot swelled up I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't do none of that, but it didn't. It it got well. So, anyway, let me, uh, let, did I drink some coffee, y'all? <laughs> How bad it is to get where you don't know what you're doing and when you do it. And, oh, gracious. But anyway, I'm thankful that I'm still living. And y'all, let me, let me let me get my what I'm going to do here today on my project. Let me get up. I don't know if my birds is coming back there to eat or not. But y'all, this is an old pot. It is old. It's got some holes in it. It's beautiful. It's got some holes. I don't know if you can see them through there or not. But they... It, it's got some holes in it. Anyway, it's a beautiful pot. I wished I could keep it like this, but I can't. It's 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 brittly and it's not gonna hold up. But I want to keep this pot. I don't like to throw things away that looks like can be uh used. And I'm going, I haven't completely decided exactly what I'm going to do with it. But I do know I'm going to do something with it. I'm think I'm going to put cement on it. And I know I say cement funny. <laughs> but that's how I say it. I can't, I, I, I don't, I really don't try to say it any different. This just comes natural and that's just how I say it. And anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. This pot says Southern Pots Atlanta, Georgia. Uh oh, it says made in China down here on the bottom. Anyway, you see those holes? 
I don't know if y'all can see all them holes on the bottom. But anyway, I'm going to redo this pot somehow. Y'all going to have to wait and see like me. I, I don't, I haven't decided completely how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start this and see what happens. And I'm going to get around here now and get my tub and everything and mix up my cement and get all my other stuff, put all this beautiful stuff on the porch. And I wish y'all could see. That is so pretty. And it smells so good. Whew, gracious. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off and get started and see what, see what I decide to do <laughs> with this project. All right, let me turn it off. Okay, here's my uh, pan that I'm going to mix my cement in. Okay, I... I'm measuring by twos because this cup is a two cup. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. That's ten cups of Portland cement. Okay. This is my Georgia sand right here. I've already got measured out, but I'll I'll measure it and if I can. Two Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Don't stir it up now. Add some water. It's a pretty good bit of mixture, so I'm going to put a good bit of water at first. But not too much. I don't want it running. I want it to kind of be sticky. And you have to be careful because if you put too much in there, you can't take it back out. You have to add more uh, ingredients to it to thicken it back up. So I be... I, I take it real slow and careful so I won't let that happen. It's not a big disaster, but you can always fix it. Add a little more sand and a little more cement. This is not a set in stone in the way you do. You can add a little more of this and a little more of that and it'll still work. I'm a, I'm a person just because something gets old and, and it doesn't want to work anymore just throw it away. I'm not like that. I, I won't to make use of things that are 
uh, a little old, but still usable. Whatever you can do to fix it and make it still worth having, then I want to do that. Okay, I've got my uh, thing up here that I'm going to... I got my Lazy Susan up here where I can turn this thing. Oh, my goodness. I got to get something for that. Okay, I'm going... I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to make a circle around it because I'm going to put... cement down there Okay, now I'm going to put this Leaving this in here, this pot is going not going to come out. I'm leaving it. Uh, because it's old and it's not any good anyway, so I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm going to get a stool to sit Probably won't be sitting down long, but I, I'll sit down when I can, if I can. I don't really like to. A while ago. When I was mixing up my cement, uh, the camera cut off, so and I was uh, about finished with uh, mixing it up anyway. So I just I didn't turn it back on. I just went ahead, and, and it's so much fun working with cement. I never dreamed <laughs> I would love cement mixing and cement. Uh, uh, Pots and all this, I, I, that is news to me. That, because I've never even been around cement in my life, except I have seen some people putting cement on the sidewalk. Because that's as close to cement as I've ever, uh, you know, I didn't ever see them mixing it or. All I seen them is putting it down there and spreading it with a, you know, kind of smoothing it out. A Portland cement just, and when you get it, it looks like. It's just black flour, powdered. It's powdered. It's, it's, it's not lumpy. It will get lumpy if you open the bag and leave it open and let moisture get in it. It will sort of get lumpy. And sometimes you can uh, get, get the lumps out by 
straining it or hitting it or bumping it or something, but Ooh, that bird come flying up here like you didn't know I was up here. Well, I hear the dog already started. Okay, y'all, I'm still working on this and uh, taking a little time. And I got time. I just didn't think it was going to be this. I didn't think it was going to take this much time. But I'm, I'm changing some stuff that I put on here. Uh, this is what I'm using now on some of it. It's the same things. It's just different colors. They're beautiful, y'all. I've decided to put them in the middle of these. This is the uh, same thing I bought. I bought this at the Home Depot. In the tiles department where you get stuff for your bathroom and kitchen and you can find things that that you need to, in all kind of places. There's a little cement on them, and, uh, but I'm gonna wipe it off. Now, I'm gonna put some of the big blue ones around here. I hope I have enough. Ready. I love to find things that work. In places like, <laughs> you know, in there where you, you really didn't think you would find something to use, but it was so pretty, I just decided I was going to try it. Okay, I'm going I'm going to turn it off now and let it dry a little and then come back cuz I see a little haze on it, but I think it'll come off. But I'm going to keep working with it and, and make sure that it doesn't get uh 
stay on there and, and won't come off because I don't want my beautiful tiles, uh, the color messed up. I think it's going to come off. But anyway, I got a cement on me and I... <laughs> I want to say thank y'all so much for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and all the things that y'all do to help me with my YouTube. Uh, it's a blessing to have all of every single one of you it's a blessing to have y'all i am so blessed y'all are my youtube family y'all know that and and with your help and the lord's help i have come to where i am and i'm so proud to be to have all the subscribers that i have and viewers some people don't subscribe because they don't know how and they don't really feel the need to do that. And it's if you don't feel the need, you don't have to worry about it because uh, that's not the most important thing that, that you're, you're looking at my videos and you're learning from it. And, and I'm so thankful that I'm able to do that. And with the Lord's help on that too because... Three years ago, I knew nothing about cement flower pots or cement nothing. So don't say you can't do it because you're too old or you, you don't know how. Just set your mind and, and watch someone and learn and, and get a bag of cement and sand. You don't have to have Georgia sand. I just... I just say Georgia sand because I get it off my road up here and it's in Georgia, so I just call it Georgia sand. And it works awesome and any sand that you have where you live will probably work just, just, just good. So, thank you again for being so patient and kind and caring. And don't forget to be kind and caring towards people that are less fortunate. We sometimes don't understand. There are people out there that don't have what we have. They don't have a family. They don't have uh, any a home. Uh, just a little bit of care and how, hey, how you doing? I'm glad to see you today. Uh, and God bless you. Always helps. Thank you so much. And I'm going to uh, let this dry just a little and come back out here and wipe and wipe and wipe. <laughs> See me off of my little things that I put on here. It'll come off, I'm sure, but I don't know about when it gets dry. I won't, I'm not going to let I'm I'm going to try to get it off before it gets dry. Too dry. All right. I'll see y'all in the, in in when I when it gets dry and I come back out here. I'll see y'all then. Bye bye. The man coming out and cutting my grass. He came driving up and and he I, he got he was uh, over there and he cut his lawnmower off and I was standing right here and I saw who it was and I he's a good Christian man he is he is a, a blessing he's blessed people and he has been blessed to get better than where he was whenever he had a broke back he was in bad shape he couldn't stand up it, it was awful anyway I said, what in the world are you doing? He said, I'm going to cut your grass. I said, what? I'm going to cut your grass. I said, how, how did you know uh, my grass needed cutting? He said, an angel told me. 
I said, he said, you believe in angels, don't you? <laughs> and I said, yes, I do. Well, that's all I need to say is an angel sent me and I'm going to cut your grass. I could not believe it, y'all. <laughs> he didn't tell me who the angel was. He said he was not, you know, that's all he could say is an angel sent him. And I said, well, and, and he said, you, you do believe in angels. I said, yes, I do believe in angels. So he, he, when he saw me, he come hug me. We forgot about the virus. <laughs> I forgot about the virus. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about a virus whenever I, I needed a hug. And he, he hugged me and I hugged him. And thank the Lord for arranging things that can happen that no one else can do. Anyway, y'all, I found out in the meantime, this friend, awesome, awesome lady, friend of mine, she lives in New York. She calls me mama. I'm her mama to her. <laughs> And I am so happy to be a mother to her because she looks after me. She, anything that I think she thinks I need, she gets on her computer. She orders it and has it sent to my house. I came out here yesterday. Uh, I, I went. In, I done a bunch of work yesterday, and I I went in there, and I was gonna lay down and rest a while. Well, I went in there and rest rested a while I got up and I always come open, open my door because I I don't leave my door open when I'm in there taking a nap I opened my door there was a package over there on my on my porch I said what in the world I don't well I set it over there with my other things that I have I, I have a gift opening uh, video when I get some together to do that. She knows I do that. I put it to the side and I don't open it right then. So last night after this nice, nice, and I mean he had a job cutting all my grass and it was high. It was way up and I I, my grass looks so good. It is. It's all level. It's. It's not got. You know those little flowers that come up. Let's see what color are they. Uh, they have a little white thing on when they when they get through blooming, and they fly all over everywhere. They they mess with people's sinus and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, they they was all them things out there. Anyway, uh, whenever he come cut my grass last night, I called her up and told her my grass. Someone come and cut my grass. And she was so happy that someone had come cut my grass. Well, uh, she finally acknowledged something to me <laughs> she got in touch with my pastor Douglas Bridges at my church I didn't know nothing about it and I wouldn't have done that if I had known that she was doing it I but it, it has all it had already taken place and I couldn't do anything about it. I don't like to bother people. I was gonna try my best to get my lawnmower working so Cody could cut it before he left to go to Alaska. You know, he's going to Alaska to work. It's not a 
for every job. It's a seasonal job. It's like, uh, it's a factory that can, I think it's a cans or, or something about salmon. Uh, they process salmon and it's a seasonal thing. You know, you work, you can work three months, you can go up there and work three months or you can work six months. And I don't know what he's going to do. And he's getting real excited about going. He's already bought a, a, a outfit that's won't let you get wet, but it's got boots on it and the whole thing. I took his picture out here the other day with it, with it on, and <laughs> he's excited about going to Alaska, y'all. I'm not all that excited <laughs> as he is, but he's excited. Anyway, she sent the preacher a message about my grass. I didn't know nothing about it at all. So, here I am. Cody said, I, Grandma, I got to get this lawnmower going so I can cut this grass before I leave. And he went out there yesterday and was trying to get it fixed and trying to uh, get it up under the shelter because it he kind of pulled it out a little where he'd have room to work. And I, he said, you know, we, we got to do something and, and and it won't fit on Cody's truck. We don't have a trailer. And we're just trying to figure out what to do. Anyway, the the man came and cut our grass and and uh my church that I love my church was behind this getting my grass cut. I didn't know that. I didn't know I was in the dark of the whole thing, you know. I I didn't uh, understand how he knew that my grass needed cutting because I didn't tell anybody. But uh, a few weeks ago, like two or three weeks ago, I guess it's been, or it might have been four weeks, I don't know. I was going to send my ties that I give to the church every month since we been, wasn't having our church. I I uh, was going to uh, meet uh, my preacher up at the church and give it to them when they were on their way to town because it's just like three minutes from here. You know, you can get in your car and be up there to the church in three minutes almost. Anyway, he messaged me back and said he was coming this way and that he would come by here and get it. So he he they drove up, him and his wife drove up, and he said, <laughs> Do I need to bring my lawnmower over here and cut your grass? I said, No. It, my I've got a lawnmower. We just Cody hasn't uh been able to get get around to it but was not tore up when he said that i said no my lawnmower i got a lawnmower cody just just as it got around to it so he said well i was just thinking you know do i need to come over here and bring my lawnmower and cut your grass no you don't need to do that we got a lawnmower well the next day or two cody goes out there and gets on the lawnmower and starts cutting and he gets way out there close to the road it stops it was running it wouldn't go anywhere it was just sitting there uh the blade wasn't cutting or nothing you know it wouldn't move so he caught uh, i saw him sitting out there I, I went out there he said grandma my, the lawnmower's tore up i said what well I went out there and it, it was like he said it was it was running but it wouldn't move so and it was getting cloudy I said well we can't leave it right here side of the road we got to push it up there to the shelter so I helped him he told me to get on it and guide it I wouldn't do that I didn't 
high. I said, well, I'll help you push it, and I'll guide it and push too. So I got out there, and we got it up under the shelter. That's where it's been ever since. And till this all come around, the Lord has a way of getting things done that you never dreamed of. How this all happened is just a miracle to me that somebody, someone from New York <laughs> that's never seen me doesn't know me personally, but they know me from YouTube and has adopted me like, you know, and she's also gave we had an auction at our church. She sent a bunch of things to our auction at our church to make raise money for the youth. She done that. She, and it was beautiful things. It was a lamp. It was jewelry. It was all kind of beautiful things. And she is just an awesome, awesome person. Anyway, let, I haven't even drank any coffee, y'all. Y'all see how I am. <laughs> I'm forgetful. I forget to even drink my coffee. But it's okay. It's good and hot, so it was cooling off, and I'm going to drink some now. That's good. And it's just right. It's not burning me up. It's just, just right for my drinking. So... When I put those pictures on there last night on my Facebook page, I wasn't aware that my church was behind all this. Arranged and got in touch with this uh, Rusty Souls to come out here. And he told me he'd been trying to come out here two or three days, but he's a very busy man. He came out here with a big old trailer. Had two, uh, two lawnmowers, I mean, the big old lawnmowers on it. Had all kind of weed-eating stuff and all kind of blowers, everything you can think of. He had it on his uh, truck. And I was so blessed and so thankful that, that he accepted to do that. And he told me that he... That was, that was paid for, his services was paid for, and he said, uh, the, the charges for his service, put it in the offering plate, and as a remembrance of me. I thought how awesome y'all, my goodness, y'all have blessed me so much. And I'm so thankful and God gets all the glory for arranging things that we can't do ourselves. Uh, I, this saying I found on YouTube. The Lord can pick you up and put you together right in front of people that have tore you down. And, and I know that is a true fact because I'm living proof of that. Thank you, Lord, and all the my YouTube people that have helped me and have had good words to say and that are blessing me every single day of my life that I've been <laughs> on YouTube. They have blessed me so much. And I want to thank y'all. Thank uh, Rusty Souls and my church family and preacher and his wife for stepping in and helping me when I needed help. I will never forget it and I'm so thankful to be a part of my church family and my YouTube family. Y'all are all my YouTube and church family. So, And I have a family too. And 
Okay, I'm gonna stop now and uh, show y'all this project that's been sitting here all this time. I didn't mean to take this long, but I did. And I may have left something out. I hope I didn't, but I want I wanted to really express how thankful I am and how blessed I am to have so many in in my life now that that is such a blessing. Every single day I'm blessed. So anyway, okay. Here it is. This is my project that I started. It's a cement. I showed y'all what I. It's an old pot that uh I. found around there it was raggedy raggedy and had holes in it but it was beautiful and I liked it I didn't want to throw it away so I decided to make it over <laughs> make over and do a do a another pot over this pot so this is it let me turn it around and let y'all see and I and I told y'all that this is things that I, I bought at Home Depot that I was I was going to try to use this in in a, in a project so that's, this is the project so now I'm going to take it up and turn it over and see what's under there you don't ever know what's going to happen to something that you put in a make when you open it and turn it over and you don't know what you're going to have to what you don't know if it's going to break you don't know and what what is what's going to happen to it but i'm fixing to find out y'all <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching my videos y'all are such a blessing I got to get a, a chisel and kind of level off that. Oh my goodness! Okay, y'all. My camera was cut off while I was, uh, I don't exactly know where it cut off. But anyway, I got it out of the mold. It's beautiful as it can be. And I'm so thankful that that it turned out as good as it did. And I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And it's uh, not completely, you know, dry. The little dark parts right here that... It'll, it'll dry, it'll be white like cement. You know, cement will turn just pure white almost whenever it completely dries. But I didn't want to wait that long to let y'all see it. Okay, y'all. This is my finished project. I, I was hoping this was going to be a short video, a shorter video. But I put some things in it, you know, that I I wanted to put in it. And it might be a little longer, but please watch it if you would like to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, uh, you can fast forward or not watch it at all. Anyway, I'm blessed already. I'm so blessed. So I want to thank y'all so much for watching my videos, subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and thumbs up and all that stuff really helps, I think. <laughs> I know it does. I didn't think I had the ability to do any of this. I am very surprised. <laughs> but 
with the Lord's help, anything is possible. Just do not give up. Give him the praise and the glory for what you have and bless others and help others that's less fortunate. The Lord will bless people that bless others. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off of this video now and go in there and try to get it ready for publishing some next day or so. <laughs> Let me have a sip of coffee on y'all. My Georgia cup. I'm Helen from Georgia. Did I tell y'all that? <laughs>